Hey everyone. So my shipment from upuno.com came in the other day and I thought I would do a little unboxing and show you some of the things that I purchased. Besides the actual things that I purchased, it came with some baggies that had a few things like tie-down points, some wire, Allen keys, things like that. And papers that have kind of breakdowns of how each of these things are put together and uh, how to work them. I got some extra eyes and eyelids and ears because I think having extras of things is always good if you can. This is the rig. I decided to go ahead and try it because I just wanted to see how I'd like it. I don't have any actual issues with it. I just think I'd like a bigger and stronger one. So I'm going to try to build a winding one or a winder rig so I can do really small increments um, of movement. This is the actual armature. I ordered the Akira 12 version, which I think is the largest and newest one. I don't actually have a lot of experience with, um, with armatures besides ones that are made out of wire. I've made a few of those. I know I made one when I was a kid. But I wanted to go ahead and try um, getting an actual armature and seeing how I like it, how it really goes together, how it works, and practicing with one. I do want to try and make one one of these days, but at this point I'm mostly kind of excited to just see what's out there and how other people put theirs together. I've watched so many tutorials and read a lot of um, forum posts and things related to armatures, but so that's the Akira 12. I also got two heads to go with it. And this first box is the, I think it's the face, the Akira face replacement with the mouth pocket and also the Akira 101 scalp. So the scalp attaches to the head with a magnet. I have no idea if I'm going to use this or not, but I watched a video about it and I thought, hmm, I might as well see if it's something that I'd like to use with my actual puppet. Has little magnets to connect it to this to the skull. This is the first time I've really, really, really been considering adding dialogue to my story. So far, my story is just um, a visual journey, I guess. There, there wasn't going to be any talking, but I figured I would go ahead and get the face with the mouth pocket in case I did want to put dialogue in there or have some exaggerated expressions. There's magnets there, and I also ordered some extra magnets to use for the mouth, the um, mouths that I'm going to be sculpting for it. There's also magnets for the eyebrows and other things like the scalp. It seems well made. I have no issues with it so far, but I also haven't started sculpting over it or really working with it. This is the second head that I got. This is the plain Akira 101 blank head. And I got the male version. This is really what drew me to ordering from them in the first place. Uh, it was the eyelids. I guess I think, you know, blinking and eyelids are very human and my story wasn't going to have any dialogue. And so I really wanted a puppet that could express itself well through just its eyes and eyebrows. Everything fits together really well. It's not difficult to pull it apart, but it also doesn't feel like it's going to just fall off at all. I'm excited to start experimenting and um, sculpting out a few heads to see what I like before I really build on this. You can buy blank heads from their site. They have male and female versions. 
This is what it looks like in the inside. Hopefully it's okay that I show this. I don't know. I don't know the rules when it comes to things like this. Hey guys, if you want me to take it down, just let me know. <laughs> Everything fits together well, and they have some videos on their YouTube channel with someone sculpting on top of it. That's what I plan on doing. I go ahead and put it on the armature here. I filmed this a few days ago, and I've been posing uh, this armature with my animals and my books and stuff. It's been pretty easy to work with, and I'm really excited to start the sculpt and casting phase of all of this. I'll keep taking videos and uploading them as I kind of go from step to step to step. This is the armature. I know there's a lot out there, and I'm definitely interested in checking more out, but this is what I went with for this project. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you again next time.